Don't buy it. I know it looks cool, but don't buy it. I know it's cheap, but don't buy it. Just don't buy it. What the hell is this device? What is this thing? I don't know a great deal about it, but I was browsing AliExpress as you do. And here's what I do know about it. It's got apparently a 6,000 mAh battery. You can use it as a power bank. And it's got a wide range of retro systems on there, up to PS1, which we will divulge into a little bit later on. It comes in four colors. So you've got the purple with the green buttons, you've got the white with the red, you've got the white with the yellow, and the one that I've got is the black with the red buttons. It literally looks like somebody took a five inch mobile phone and just slapped it on front of a piece of plastic. <laughs> it's the strangest thing. So I thought, let me buy it so that you guys don't have to. And I'm not suggesting anybody buy this. I think guys do not buy this unless you're just weird like me <laughs> so at the time of purchasing this i paid 26 pounds um came up to about 28 pounds something through aliexpress with the shipping the thing is i've been checking it from time to time and the prices do vary and they do change i don't know what these sellers are doing that's just how they do things it's quite a sturdy device it looks quite strong actually it's got a bunch of features on there especially visually as well i mean even the triggers at the back, they look very, very unique. We'll go around the device in a moment. I wanted to know more about this device, so I jumped on the YouTube, typed it in the search bar, and Nitrix popped up. He's the only one that I've seen that has this device. And from what he said in his video, it apparently has a dual boot system. I have no idea how to figure that out or how to get that done, but hey, look, if it can do that, then that's great. But let's move on. So we've got a nice big wide five inch display. Apparently a soft light as well. And it is on the more saturated side. You'll see that as we play the games. A, B, X, Y buttons are pretty normal. And I think they're on the um, silicon soft side as well. For some reason they've got K and T. K standing for start, T standing for um, select. And you've got the M for menu button there as well. On the right side, you've got your power button. You've also got your volume rocker. And just along here, you've got your power LED. When you're charging, you'll see that and it looks pretty cool. Along the top, right, there's a lot going on here. We've got the OTG, we've got your DC, we've got your headphone jack, and you've got HDMI out. We've also got an SD card, which is, let's just pop that out and have a quick look. Let's get that and it's a standard generic 64 gig sd card which is you know it's very cool comes with a bunch of games on there and we like that and then on the left side there's nothing there just another vent d-pad is really strange i take off that plastic and it functions like a normal one but it does feel as if it's got a bit of a ridge to it analog stick is cool nintendo switch style and also it's got led at the back there and it's only a white one though Got your LNR triggers at the back here along with a kickstand. You do have speakers at the back, but I think they're mono. You've also got an outlet with all these holes, which actually has the MT logo in the back there. The triggers are surprisingly comfortable as well. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. My sound is going to sound different because I've had to take the microphone away in order to hear the actual console sound a lot better. So here it is, Game MT powered on. Got the little guy with the control pad glasses. Got this little clock or whatever it is running across the screen. And here's what we have. Turn the volume up a bit. So it has got an LED here, which flashes out white as well. Just thought I'd show that. So already you just got a bunch of games on this, whatever this front end is called. The sound of it here doesn't sound great in terms of when you move it, D-pad. I don't know what to think about this D-pad. Also, these are your consoles. MAME, Game Boy, Mega Drive, PS, Super Famicom, CPS 1, 2, Famicom, Game Boy Advance, IGS, Game Boy Color, and Neo Geo. All of these systems are on here, which is great. You can search. So if I was to type in Pokemon, anything with that in its name, these things will pop up. Obviously, you can see here. You got whatever games you want to put into your own collection, history, here's your 
settings that this is it this is all you get <laughs> and i don't know what that area is here but uh yeah let's jump into something all right all right it's looking good all right i don't know about this d-pad but let's have a look all right it's moving <laughs> I, wow but you'd think because of this ridge the moves are not going to come out but actually Oh my days, yeah, look, this is lit. Yeah, look, it's all working. Hey. Okay, here we go. So, analogs feel decent enough anyway. It's good. Colors are actually quite bright and vibrant, to be fair. And it, I love the display. It's like it just fits it to where it needs to be. And it doesn't look crazily stretched, to be fair. D-pad's all right as well, but I don't know. With this little ridge on the side here, I don't like that. So I'm just going to stick with that. Oh, look at it. I never really did get into this, you know. I remember having this game on my Commodore 64, though. Look at this. Stunning 16-bit graphics. All of this talking. Yeah. This is the part of the game that I hate, man. Blitz through. No quick way around it. But you know what? It feels really comfortable. I, I cannot lie to you. Considering how blocky, blocky it is over the top here, it doesn't feel bad. You know, man, let's not talk anymore. Let's go. Get some action. Okay, here we are. And yeah, it doesn't look bad at all, to be fair. Hey, floats. Ooh, a little bit, little bit laggy here. Oi, let's see. Oh, wow. I can't even do the combo. Yeah, that's, that's laggy, man. Let's try a different game. It's not too shabby. I think the power in this thing is more than the, um, do you remember the, um, the folding handheld? The, is it the V90 by Power Kitty? This looks like one of them Power Kitty devices as well. All right, we can't get in there and I need a key and I can't read a word of that. Well, let me go somewhere where I can shoot. But we can see here there's no lag. I think it's a case of not all games are going to run smoothly, to be fair. And with a device like this at this price, can't really complain. But I guess we'll see. Hey, yeah, you can still drop that shot when he needs to, look. Oi, look it. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Look at you. Oi. I'm taking them out, bruv. Look. And the, the analog's not too bad. Yeah, we'll take that. Ah, PS1. Look, guys. I'm happy to do more. Do you know what? Let me just save this progress. No, I don't think I did it there. Hold on. No, not again. There we go. Yeah, let me save that progress. We'll see what happens. I guess there it is. Yeah, it's all there. So it works good. All right, guys, if you want to see more emulation on this unusual looking thing, let me know. And then I'll do some other systems if you like. I still don't think you should buy it, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. And um, I'm just going to leave it there, guys. Let me know your thoughts, questions, comments, and concerns. Leave them below. Let's get active. Take care, stay safe, and peace.